Hey guys, this is Jeremy. I have a 2009 Pontiac Solstice that I've been wanting to do a little work on. I, uh, I bought it used just a couple of weeks ago. I had some... Well, I'm having an issue with the door panels being faded. I'll show you what that looks like here in just a second. But I've been reading on a couple of forums about taking a heat gun to it. I was a little skeptical of that. But I thought, what the heck? So I thought I would just show you guys the results. So here's my new to me baby. Um, and here is my door panel. Now granted, we've got a little bit of work to do here. But I wanted to show you, just looking down this, how faded it is. You can see I've got a little bit of a darker spot right here. Yes, I know, we're gonna work on that. Um, but this is basically what they look like right now. And let's go over to the passenger side and I'm gonna show you what I've already done. So my passenger side looked the same as my driver's side that I just showed you and here is currently how it's looking after a couple of passes with the heat gun. Here in a second I'll just run down the technique. Now what I am using is this guy right here, the Drill Master heat gun from Harbor Freight. I think it was about 17 to 20 dollars. Get a coupon. You can get it a lot cheaper than that. Now right quick I wanted to show y'all beforehand. Let's get up close. Using the heat gun does take away a little bit of the detail. Not much. You'd have to be a little picky about it, but I know some of us are a little picky. So just expect that. All right, two quick notes before I get started up. You need to be aware that you're gonna be putting out a lot of heat right here. You may want to put down something to protect, something that's non-flammable, to protect this weather strip and your finish over here. Um, I'm not going to do that. I was fairly lucky on the other door, so I'm just going to wing it and see what happens. The other thing is be sure not to touch this. Um, you're essentially going to be melting this surface to bring the color back out. So don't touch this surface as you're going to leave the imprint of your finger in it. Even when it's just barely warm, you're going to leave the imprint of your finger in there. And also you're going to just mat up. You'll leave it kind of like a little matted area right there where it'll look uneven. So keep your hands off of it. I didn't touch the other door for probably an hour after I got done with it. All right, let's get started. So I'm going to put it on two. That's the high setting. And I'm just going to do some even sweeps down this after it heats up a little bit. So what you'll notice is your high spots are going to get dark faster than your low spots in that texturing. You're going to get pretty close. And I'm going to come stay on it until I get the highs and the lows to come in. But I'm not going to do it all in one pass because I really don't want to lose all the texture, which would be easy to do if you put too much heat in one spot for too long. Get this corner. And watch this, the color come up. All right, I'm gonna make a few passes with that and let's see how it goes. So this is my first pass on it. Uh, you can see that it is lightened up considerably. It's almost even black all the way across it now. There are some defects I need to go back over. There's a lighter spot there. There's another one right there. And pretty much this whole area right here still has some of that white sort of light shading on it. All right guys, I think that's the last pass I'm gonna make on this for now. Let me just show you some of the detail of it or some of the detail that you lose. Uh, nothing too terrible. I got a couple of smoother spots right in there for it was really bad. It does tend to clump up a little bit. Um, I'm pretty happy with it, you know? I don't really care too much about that. I think once I treat it with a little bit of stuff, 
it's going to look pretty good. It's kind of hard to get a good picture of it, but that is it.